Probably aren't the best because the wind is picking up, but uh, we'll see how we go with this. So, so now we've got to the spot and then uh, we'll drop the pots in, check back in when it's time for a bit of fishing. Uh, dropped off. So now, so, uh, for some of you that might be concerned about um, how I place my pots in terms of we just dropped it and hope for the best, that's not the case. Um, I know this water weighed pretty well and um, water here is probably about three meters deep where we dropped it and we're on the, the full high tide at the moment. The current here is quite minimal as well um, so there's not going to be any issues. So the only issue now we have is um, hopefully we get some crabs by the time we check it. That's for now. Um, my mate Ty there, he's sorting out a bit of burly. Let's, let's have a look at what concoction he's working up. Um, so what do you got there, bro? Uh, bread and we've got a little bit of oh, That's alright, bro. It's all good. Brown. Ooh. Right, tell and me, pili. Tell me if you're a fish, you wouldn't eat that, right? If they don't eat this, then I don't know what to eat. <laughs> yeah. So if we don't catch anything, you know I'm going to blame you. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Okay, so the bite has been terribly slow <laughs> and the tide's dropping so um, I didn't mention what I was going to be cooking tonight but um, I'm going to be making a sensational cockle pasta uh, with the bolognese style sauce this time so uh, as we now I'm at the, cockle, uh, the foraging grounds and uh, we're just going to grab some cockles That should be us for a feed. Right, so that's our lovely haul of cockle, as you were seeing from the early footage. I'll bring you in for a close up there. Yep. So that's um ties and my daily quota of cockles for today. And um, what I'm gonna be doing with these cockles is um Pretty much similar to the early video that I did, um, steam them up, remove the meat, and uh, combine it with the pasta. Oh, 
Oh, what type of fish is that? Oh, uh, seaweed fish. Okay, folks, it's been three hours, not a single fish. Actually, you got a little baby snapper, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I guarantee we're going to be doing better with the crabs today. So, I um, hope so. Yeah. Let's not guarantee. No, I reckon we. <laughs> That's the first one there, eh, bro? Yeah. We're, our one is in one line. Yeah. Well, yeah. it just goes straight there like that. Yeah. Pretty much. One, two, three, four. A good workout today. Octopusy? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, one. This one got egg. One, got two, and then two keepers. Yeah. Cool. One egg and then two. Okay. Number four. Yeah. When you got, it, I'll take the gap of you. This one is full. Yep, I can see some in there. Let's see what we oh, got. Oh, this one a lot. Oh, this one nặng luôn á. Yeah. Cũng vậy à? Cũng vậy à? Bốn con á? Bốn con mà one one no keeper. Yeah, that's it. And then three keepers, but good size one. Yeah. All right, just on top, right? And then um, sẵn giờ tài thấy cái nail ngoài sau luôn á. Okay, so it looks like we're off to a good start. Um, every pot there's been crabs, and uh, in every single one there is one that's not a keeper. So what I'm going to do now, we're actually going to move these pots to another location as well. But um, I'm going to take out all the good ones and uh, let all the non-keepers go. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration on what's a good one and what's not a good one. Without getting uh, nipped would be ideal. Okay, so this is a female, but uh, in New South Wales we're allowed to keep females, and it's also sized as well. And I'll explain that to you why the, how that is. Let me get it out. So New South Wales regulations are uh, that's a blue swimmer, and how you measure it is. <laughs> Is from the, the base to the tail, so this one's definitely size, and that's a female, but it's got no eggs, so um, it's a keeper. So, this is our dinner. Yep, so into the bucket, that one goes. I'll let the one with eggs go. Uh, on that, this is also a keeper, and it's also size as well. Male and he's also a keeper, but I'm gonna take him out. Come back, come back. Let's just check. Yep, he's good. That's a female. Yeah, 
yeah, this is it. So in Queensland they call these jennies, um, as in short term for like female crab, but this one's got eggs. Right, so, yeah. Yeah, so up over the side, up she goes to go create some more crabs. Alrighty, so I'm just going to finish up unloading these and then uh, we'll drop them off in another location. Add a bit of pasta. So I need to mention, um, I did cheat a bit. This is unlike the earlier video that I did where they did the homemade pasta. Uh, this is store bought, but uh, rest assured, most of the ingredients uh, brought along today are either made by me or foraged, grown too. So, so there's only two of us, so. Just a handful of pasta, two servings. Three second rule on that one, anyway. Yeah, why not? <laughs> mentioned this is home my home home cured bacon and uh, I'll just plonk it all in there let the uh, oil start to infuse smoky so yeah. what we'll do is we'll let that caramelize a little bit now it's getting a bit dark and I'm not sure if the lighting is picking it up but um, if you can't see it that well, just rest assured, it's sensational. Alright, next up, this is some uh, chopped onions and garlic. Alrighty, we're about half a second away from the next ingredient. Bacon and onions are coming along quite nicely now. Well, not the second ingredient, but the next ingredient. So the next ingredient, as mentioned, this is um, my homegrown tomatoes. Pump that in. What I'm going to do now is put the lid on. We'll let that stew for a bit so the tomatoes soften up. Next ingredient, some bolognese sauce. Base is coming along quite nicely, so um, it's time for a bit of seasoning. Now, I've had um, a few people comment on um, how I season my food. Uh, I like it to have a little sweet in it, so this is just a bit of white sugar, just a touch. Mm -hmm. 
getting hungry now. The smell. Next up, um, just a bit of salt to taste. Uh, that's about a little bit less than a, um, a teaspoon. I won't put it all in. I'll just do that salt bay thing in and a bit of a sprinkle. Yep. We can always add the salt at a later stage. And just a bit of black pepper. And the pasta should also be about a half a minute away. Okie dokie. So the last ingredient is our forage cockles that um, I processed earlier. The meat's been removed from the shell. That's our lovely haul of cockles there. Close up on that. And um, these are already cooked, so I don't want to overcook them. The idea of this is just to fold it in and warm it through at the very last minute just before we serve it up. Here goes the cockles. Get that all in there nicely. about to serve. So um, you may have noticed I didn't boss strain the pasta. What I'm going to do is just add it straight to the bolognese sauce and we'll fold it through. Have dinner. So I hope you're hungry brother. Yeah. Because there's a lot of food. I think now. Okay. Fold this through, gently fold it through there. So you can see um, cooking on location also, also adds to the challenge on a very rocky boat. But um, so far, I've got no spillages. Whatever else you want, like the yeah. one, you can have it. Well, yours, right? You. Well, um, give it a go and tell us what you think, brother. Pretty good already. Did you buy that in a restaurant, bro? <laughs> this is better. This is better. Okie dokie. So it's my turn to eat now. Thank you. say that was a hard earned dinner. Being all day with no fish. Um, lucky through came through with a few crabs and I'm quite confident um, with the crab pots where they are the new spot uh, that we'll um, end up with a few more crabs before we call it night today. So um, as for this video uh, folks just to keep it short and sweet I'm gonna end it here as um, the first chapter but um, stay tuned for the next chapter um, there's an awesome recipe coming up with these crabs that I've had on my bucket list for quite some time. 